Hi, I'm Shani Ferguson from Jerusalem. There's so much to talk about every day that I'm trying to cover topics. And today, a topic worthy of discussing is the Gaza situation, specifically the civilians. Uh, we call them uninvolved. I think that's the best translation I can give because calling them innocent civilians is not always a good definition. In light of the fact that a lot of the civilians cooperate with Hamas, and you don't know if it's a civilian that's cooperating or a civilian that's not cooperating, and so we call them uninvolved. Um, currently, if you've likely heard that Israel has said no water, no fuel, and no electricity in Gaza until the hostages, more than 200 hostages, are freed. Uh, this is babies, mothers, grandmothers, um, people that have nothing to do with any kind of military operation and uh, people with citizenship around the world. And so it's its its, its own issue. Um, the civilians, c citizens, residents of Gaza um, are being asked to go south of the river. And the understanding is that there will be water south of the river. Uh, currently, obviously, we discussed yesterday, Hamas does not want them to leave Gaza City because they have an old infrastructure built under the city that they felt was secure because they knew Israel would not bomb citizens. I saw this interesting email today that was um, from an organization in Israel that isn't pro-Israel, so they're not in Israel proper, they're in the territories. And they were saying uh, as much as, you know, they said the Hamas attack and then went on to discuss um, how all the terrible things that Israel is doing in Gaza. And one of the things they said, I found interesting because they said anywhere Israel bombs, there will be civilian casualties. And that's the point. They're arguing the very point that we're saying, that the way Hamas rules Gaza is by threatening the world around it. And make no mistake, you see what they did here in Israel. They want to do that to the world. This is what their vein of ideology is shooting for, to do this around the world. They were just able to do it with the closest villages to them so far, which is why it's important that we win. But they understand that Israel is not gonna go and bomb civilians, and so they built this whole infrastructure into the city. And the question is, should Israel now go in? Because this thing has been planned for years. They have studied how we react to different attacks. You guys don't hear about it, but there's all the time firing rockets into Israel, into the southern towns. That happens all the time. It's just not newsworthy, and so you don't hear about it. They have been studying how we react. They have studied how we think. And so they know that when they go and butcher a whole area and burn down our villages and take hostages, they know that the reaction will be that we will go in there, which begs the question, what is waiting for us there? And how should we approach the fact that we know, they know, we know that they're expecting us to come in? I read an article yesterday that the IDF had found an abandoned truck that the terrorists had originally driven in from Gaza with the machine guns on them. And inside they found ISIS handbooks, and which makes sense because the brutality level uh, was so high. And they found instructions for this particular operation, which stated that the end goal was not to free any of the hostages. And so I, I don't know if that's something that Israel should make a big deal out of because there's always hope as long as they're still alive that we can get them out. But it's important that people that are defending this rule of Hamas in Gaza understand the type of people we're dealing with. They don't have the intentions of leaving them alive, at least in this paperwork initially did not have the intention after planning this whole thing out do not intend to leave these these hostages alive they only intended to take them as and have them as a human shield because they know as long as they're in gaza israel's going to be more careful about where they bomb and it's going to make everything more complicated 
And so when people are trying to be balanced and, you know, we love the Palestinians and we love the Arabs, if you think Israelis don't care about the Palestinians in Gaza, you simply have not visited here. You have not talked to Israelis because they do. And that's why this has been such a dilemma for us. And that's why it had to get this bad even for us to go in as hard as we're going at this point. But I encourage you again, pray for wisdom for the leadership in Israel because this, this attack has been planned for years. And the end result of this needs to be the removal of Hamas from power. And if we go in there and the cost is high, um, I can't imagine that Israel will know how to stomach the northern border, which hasn't even started. So we're in the early days of this war. And that's, that's really where it's at. We haven't even started. It's been brutal, but we haven't even gotten started. Until next time, thanks for watching.